Quill. I've got a starter pen to have a look at today. I've mentioned this before in a previous video when I did a bit of a sort of update of what I've got coming next. This is a pen that was originally sent to me by somebody on the Fountain Pen Network. Actually, I think it was sent to Karis. And um, Karis has used that and then I saw they came out with a new range here in the UK in different colours that are available. And they called it the Stone Collection. And well, I'm back to Japanese pens. I do like Japanese pens and this is a sailor pen. As I said, starter point pen. This pen here now retails at just over £30 here in the UK. So a great price for a pen that you don't you, know, you don't mind taking out and about to work, you don't mind putting it in your bag. Maybe somebody younger, somebody in you know, your students, somebody in school. Great starter point pens. And saying these have now come out, have been available now for the last year or so in five different colours of what they call the Stone Collection. I can talk to you a little more. So this is the Sailor Lecol, I think, is how you'd pronounce it. Which would make sense, I suppose. It's, um, well, Lecol is, if I remember from back in my school days, is French for school. So I'm assuming it does sort of touch and sort of nod towards that student type pen. There are similarities between this pen and the Prera. I've already done a review on the Prera, which you'll be able to see in previous videos. And it's worth comparing that Prera to this. So both Japanese pens and both very similar sizes, which I'll show you a little closer now. But this Sailor is a little cheaper um, and comes in sort of different colors. But only comes in one standard nib size and that comes in a medium fine. Not an issue for me, as you'll see sort of very close um, soon. That nib is fantastic, and it's a really great size nib to start off with. Um, I don't think there's anything more for me to say in sort of introduction to all of that. I'll have a, we'll do a writing sample. I'll show you the details of it now up close, and I'll see you back in just two secs. So welcome back. So here we have it, the Sailor Licol. So it comes like this. You know, it's not going to win any prizes for beautiful packaging, but you know, once these have arrived, they're out of the box for me. I do keep all of my boxes. They're in a, a cabinet that I've got just, it's just full of empty boxes. However, um, they I don't see them again or don't use them again unless I'm either doing a video on them or I'm selling them on or passing them on or gifting them. But other than that, the packaging is just there for you know, transport, transportation sort of um, purposes as far as I'm concerned. So it comes in this cardboard sleeve, speckled cardboard sleeve, and you'll see here the Lecol Lapis, and this colour is the Lapis Lazuli, and MF, have a look there, the medium fine nib. So it comes out of this sleeve, and what we've got here is just a plastic case, clear plastic case at the top. So we open this up, it comes with two cartridges, two sailor cartridges, they blue or black, they look to be black, with two sailor card proprietary cartridges, we've got the warranty and instruction leaflet underneath, this is just literally a piece of card that's got a ribbon taped onto it to hold it there. So put that all out of the way. And then the pen comes in this nice little plastic sleeve. So I chose the this lapis colour because I wanted, oh, I particularly like blue pens. And I had a bit of a blue theme going on at the time. I had recently had the Pilot Custom 74 in blue and I purchased at the same time as this. I also got the um, Sailor Pro Gear Slim in the sky. So it was very much a blue time. For me, you know, they're blue or they're pink and it was difficult because this does come in pink as well so it really was a difficult call so this is what we're looking at I'll stop talking well I won't stop talking but I'll stop rambling weight wise very very lightweight pen so this is 16 grams that's all this is and nine grams without the lid on so it's almost half the weight is in the lid in the cap of here so it really is a lightweight pen it's got a very similar shape to the Pro Gear, so it's sort of emulated that shape of the Pro Gear. Fairly short pen, it's 123 millimeters as you're looking at it now, and then 
uncapped it's 109 and then posted it's 141 I do use it posted I have used it without but I find it more comfortable to use it posted um, so let's have a look at this I don't know if, you think if this is big enough. You can see the sparkle that's on there, and that's what really attracted me to this blue. It's got this beautiful sparkle on there. They also do four other colours. Garnet, which is a beautiful red, as you would expect. Rose quartz, which is the pink. Um, a pearl, which is a white, a creamy white. See, and I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right. And Morion, or Morion. I'm not sure which is the black which is a very similar finish to this but it's black with that speckle on there um because i had the pro color as well which was the black with the speckle you know the, i think they called it stardust so it's very similar to that as well so flattened ends the top and then chrome fittings chrome clip very good clip actually and then it's it's got liqueur, liqueur, liqueur. I'm sure actually now looking at it, I mentioned in the introduction it's got something to do with school. It probably hasn't because it's got the U in it. If anybody knows what it means, please let me know. And then we've got Sailor Japan printed on there. It is a twist cap, which I particularly like, the fact that it's a twist cap. See, it has been, I filled it up earlier, just before doing this. And I think I've got some ink in the cap. I'll have to have a look at because as I've opened it each time, it's well there. So the colour comes through onto the grip section here, which I'm really pleased about. I really love it when the colours come through. I get quite disappointed when they're a black grip section. And then, right, this nib is going to win no prizes for decoration or design whatsoever. It is practical. It has the Sailor logo on it, and just see if you can pick up the anchor there. You can see there, and it's got MF written underneath it, medium fine. But other than that, it's a very plain nib. They all come in an MF. It's only available over here with an MF. It doesn't come with a converter. However, I did purchase a converter, and you can get a converter for, over here for about £5. For me, it's worth getting because it means that I've got so much more variety to use. So the Sailor Inks cartridges don't come in a huge number of colours, so it gives me that extra opportunity. It's a lovely looking pen. Before I do the writing sample, I just want to sort of show you. So this is a new range that kind of is in five colours under the sort of stone collection. This is the old one that I mentioned that was um, sent to Caris by somebody on the Fountain Pen Network couple of years ago now and this came in different sort of colours, solid colours. I think you can still get these ordered from Japan but I haven't seen them available to order directly here in the UK. But you can see exactly the same design pen, exactly the same nib, just a different finish. I also mentioned that there are sort of some distinct similarities. So here we are. The Pirate Prera and the Sailor Licol, Licul. They are the same length. In fact, I think the Sailor is slightly longer there. So let me zoom out for you. The Sailor is slightly longer, very slightly longer. Same width, same di you know, same diameter, and they have that sort of same sort of look to them. The Prera is more round, doesn't have this sort of tapering off at the ends that these have and the Prera has this sort of magnetic grip to it rather than a twist cap. The Sa the Prera is also available in a couple of different nib sizes. Again going to win no prizes for decoration. They're both functional pens and both retail at around the same sort of price. As I said this retails over here I got this from the writing desk for £30.49 and this I got from Cult Pens and I believe that this was round about sort of £35-£36. The difference I suppose is that this comes with a converter, this one doesn't. So by the time you pay that £5 for the converter you're looking at a very similar price point pen. Um, what's my preference? <laughs> right, it depends how we take and have a look at this. Looks wise, I prefer the Prera. There is, it's a heavier pen than this is, 
which actually I quite like the lacol. But because this is heavier, it feels more substantial, this Prera. It feels like a higher quality pen and it looks a higher quality pen. However, for me, there's no comparison as far as writing is concerned. The Prera and Pilot nibs I absolutely love and I adore them and I, you know, actually with most Japanese pens. But this steel nib, medium fine nib on this is an absolute dream. I wish you could, I wish there was a way that I could do this so that you could actually experience what I'm writing rather than just seeing what I'm writing. As I say, I tend to post it, it just makes it. I've got a bit of a thing where I have to line the, um, the clip up with the middle of the the nib. Just one of my little oddities. So this is the Sailor Lecule, Lecole. Please somebody let me know if they know. And this one is the Lapis Lazuli. And this is a medium fine nib. If you're wondering about the ink, this is actually a Sailor ink. This is Sailor Sutton. A lovely, fresh, bright blue. Right. It's wonderful. As far as line width is concerned, there's you know, very little give in it. I wouldn't expect so for the, you know, for the fact that it's a steel nib. But it is so, so smooth. Look at that. There's barely, I'm putting barely any pressure on that whatsoever. And it wrote like a dream straight out of the box. First time the ink went in there. No problems whatsoever. I love it. I absolutely love it. By comparison for width, so this is a medium fine Japanese nib. For me, it's very similar to an extra fine, maybe a Lamy nib, something like that, or an extra fine sort of German type nib, maybe something like a Faber Castell extra fine steel nib. But how soft this writes and how smooth this writes really is an absolute pleasure to write with and so easy to pick up. I don't think there's anything else for me to say really. Um, if you've got any questions, please do ask. But other than that, that was the Sailor Lickle. I did briefly show you the Pirate Prayer as well. There is a video on the Pilot Prayer separate to this that you can have a look at as well on my channel. But anything else? Let me just put that one in the shot as well. That's not going to stay. But thank you very much and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.